as we continue with our time of worship this morning, we move into a time that is just for our children, our youth, and for folks who are feeling particularly young at heart this morning. And so just as is our um, tradition at the Newtown Congregational Church to invite children and youth and even sometimes grown-ups um, close to the chancel, I invite you, if you are feeling um, in the spirit to do so this morning, to get nice and close to your computer or your television and know that this part of this morning's worship is just for you. So some of you know that I love to hike. Um, probably most of you know that I love to hike. Um, and what I love about hiking is the chance to just be alone in the woods and to just have some quiet time. Um, and that really satisfies my soul. But lately, I've been going out in the woods to go hiking. And when I come across other people in the woods, I've been feeling really happy to see other people lately. Um, from six feet away, of course. Because the folks that I happen upon in the woods, they're like usually so happy to see other people in the woods too hiking. Um, people have been really friendly lately. And so um, the disciples in our story, they're on kind of like a hike. They are taking a seven mile journey from Jerusalem to Emmaus. And while they're walking, they come upon um, a person, a stranger. And so that stranger will hear in just a little bit um, journeys with them for a while. But what's different about the person that the disciples find on their journey is that the stranger that they come upon is actually Jesus. Now, I've met a lot of people in the woods, even some like animals on occasion, but I've never run into Jesus. But here's the thing though, I don't really know, do I? Because the disciples, they didn't recognize Jesus either. Um, and they journey with him for quite a while. And the person that they don't recognize as Jesus is a really good hiking companion to them. He teaches them about scripture and they are so impressed by him. We'll hear later in the scripture, they say that he set their hearts on fire. Um, and you know, I've never, I don't think I've met Jesus, but, but I don't really know, right? Here's the thing, when you're out hiking, or if you take a walk in your neighborhood, or if you be, happen to be sitting on your front porch and you wave hi to your neighbors or to your mail person, or even if you are on Zoom or Google, um, we all have the potential and the capability to recognize God in everybody that we interact with. And I think that that is one of the lessons that the disciples learned on the journey to Emmaus with Jesus. And you know what? That's really important as we try to get through this tough time together, because I think the more that we can recognize God and other people, I think the more that we'll start to realize that we are all in this together, aren't we? And so that is my invitation and my challenge to each of you this week, children, youth, and adults, to recognize God in at least one other person that you interact with this week. And you know what? I bet you will be surprised just how easy it is. And so here at the Newtown Congregational Church, we end our children's time with a repeat after me prayer. And so this is a repeat after me prayer. Dear God, Help us to recognize you in every person that we see, wherever we are. Amen.